Bitte? Du bist noch nicht mehr umgezogen, hä? Nee. Wir müssen schnell weg nach dem Spiel, weißt du? Ja. Ich zum, tell me when we are. zum Spieler des Spiels. Hm? Ach, danke. No, we can start. If you give me a sign, when we can... So, dear colleague, good evening from Bucharest. 3-1 victory for Austria at the start of the European Championship against North Macedonia. Here with us, chef, our head coach, Franco Foda, and David Alaba, the winner of Star of the Match Award. Frank. Your summary. First of all, I would like to say congratulations to David for his award. He showed a great performance, good match, and overall, I'm very satisfied with our performance. Started very well, worked well against the ball, deservedly scored the opener, could have scored a second one uh, with the Sasha Skalajic chance, and then, uh, yeah, we didn't focus in, one, in that one moment and conceded the equalizer but afterwards didn't concede any other chances to them we played very compact in second half we talked about two three things that we should adapt that we have uh, to be faster play more over the wings we did that um, better in second half more agile and then the substitutions uh, showed their effect with uh, marco and michel gregoric who came onto the pitch so i think we deserve the one in this match, congratulations to my lads. They wrote history today. David, what about your emotions after these three points? Well, we are happy, obviously. We uh, achieved our first uh, goal with uh, scoring three points. We wanted to get this victory, but we have to stay calm, remain calm. We have to look ahead, focus on our next match after regenerating and yes thanks david dear colleagues please your questions emmanuel barangay please please uh, do you think that the key moment of this game was uh, uh, your, your three uh, your three um, um, when you change the two forwards and when uh, David Alaba came from behind to play more in uh, more in more forward more in the middle of the of the field Well, substitutions uh, were important, but that's why you have uh, players on the bench. And I always said, have said before, that the team consists of 26 players who are on site. All the players are important for the team. And with Marko Nautovic in preparation, he was injured, didn't train that much with the team. So that's why I decided to bring him on later on in the match but this was clear for me and he showed his qualities and Michel Gregoric he worked well in training and also in England against Slovakia Slovakia he had two chances and here tonight he scored this is what his job is so this was very important for the team but overall in second half I think we had a bit of pace and um, yeah, managed to control, have control of our opponent and deservedly won the match at the end. Andreas Felber, please. Andreas Felber, can you hear us? Andreas Felber, can you hear us? If not, then we continue. Florian Haselmeier, please. Hello, David, congratulations to this historic win and Franco as well, but first for you the question, David, what does uh, need to happen to write, continue to write this history? Are these three points a big step towards the last 16? And uh, do you think that you can um, yeah, show the same performance against uh, the Netherlands and Ukraine? 
Well, this is our objective, our goal. We want to continue our path. We're not happy with these three points. This was our first goal we wanted to achieve, and now we want to continue. Of course, we want to impose our game, continue to win the points. So this is our target that we have. This shows our character. Yeah. the personality we have, so I think uh, we want to continue on this path. Florian Haselmeier, please. Florian Haselmeier, please. Question for the coach and for the player. First for the coach. How did you like David's new position, how he played his role? And is there something specific only to this match or is there something that could remain in the next matches? Then the question to David. How do you felt yourself in this role, in your position? What was difficult, maybe? But uh, what was also also positive and makes you want to stay in this or keep this position? Well, it wasn't any problem for David. He played on this position uh, with Bayern a lot. We just switched to a back three, but also at Bayern, he also played in a back three as a center back. So, no problem for David. Our intention was to act better in our build up against the two attackers. And then in the second half, David helped us and supported us, especially on the left wing. And this was his duty and I'm very very happy all over 90 minutes he organized well our defensive work he talked a lot with the teammates and this was just important in coaching and in second half he helped us uh, in our attacking Hubert Giegler please hello hello Hello. Yeah, we can hear you. Congratulations from my side. How much or after the unfortunate equalizer, how much were you still convinced of winning the match? It took you some time to score then the second. And if you were uh, convinced, why? For whom was this question? For both. Please, first the coach, if possible. Well, I think that uh, the win was completely deserved. At half time, we could already feel, or from first minute on, uh, you could see that the team wanted to win this match. And even after the equalizer, which was unfortunate, the team continued playing, attacked, and. Um, yeah, played faster and deserved to win. After substitutions, of course, this brought a new impulse on the, on the pitch, had a good impact on the pitch. But I think in every minute, the team was um, convinced about winning this match. David, what about you? Well, I don't have to add a lot, but... At half time, we said to each other that we have to play faster, that we want to dominate and control the match. And especially in the second half, you could see and notice that we had some spells where we really put the foot down. And when we lost the ball, we directly tried to re win the ball back to keep the ball have ball possession and this is what we talked about in half time that we won these three points we want this victory and we, you could see how hungry and how willing we were we wanted to show this character this personality this team spirit on the pitch and i think we managed to do that javier caceres please Hello, good evening. One question for David Alaba. How satisfied were you with the quality of your team? What do you have to improve in the next two matches? Well, I think in the first half, we dominated the match, but couldn't find maybe the solutions which we maybe thought, and uh, we took down the gas here and there, but we should have maybe kept it up. In second half, we did a better job. 
kontinuierlich ähm, hochgehalten. We played faster, more, with more courage. Und, ähm, dementsprechend wurden wir dann we tried to be more clinical and at the end we were awarded for our efforts. Alles Chida, bitte. Alles Chida, please. Congratulations to this victory. You always underline that you play in the national team where you can help the team the best. So do you think is this the position that you can help the team the most? Well, we will see. I had a lot of discussions and talks and chats with the coach. He told me about his idea. We discussed it. And the coach uh, decided like that at the end because, I mean, he analyzed uh, our opponent very well and tried to um, decide about his uh, starting 11 then. And I think at the end it worked out very well for us. And at the end that I could say to the coach, it doesn't matter where you put me on the Mitch, I can only promise you that I will give my best everything I have. We machen weiter with Florian Haselmeier. Florian Haselmeier, please. Question to the coach. The players said that they just uh, got to know about the starting 11, also tactical uh, approach this morning. Why that? Just because uh, there were some changes. And then the second question, Marko Arnautovic, if he's fit, then he plays uh, uh, from the beginning. And so until the next match against the Netherlands, it's four days. So what do you think? How fit will he be? To your first question, well, the starting 11 is always the same. Three hours be or two hours even before a match. I tell them about the starting 11, but we worked on it the whole week with a back three, with a back four, with a four, three, two, one. This was our first idea. And the second the second idea was a 5-3-2, so we exercised and practiced this in training, in defending, but also in attack. So we were well prepared and they are players who play different systems at their clubs, who are very flexible players, so it was not really a problem. Second question with Marco. Well, before the match against Slovakia, he only trained twice with the team. This uh, this last week, he uh, trained with us more constantly. So I don't know if uh, we want to take this risk to start, let him start, or maybe let him play for 60, 70 minutes. Because after such a muscle injury, you have to take care, be careful. Of course, the players see it in a different um, way, but Marco is a integral part, a key player in our team and we have two or three more trainings and then it could be that he starts against the Netherlands. Christoph Gastinger, please. Hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Question for the coach. From your side, how risky was it for you to play this new system to put David as a center back in the back three? So, how, yeah, what do you think about this system? Well, we have played with back three before uh, against uh, in Scotland, for example. We are flexible, we can play in uh, several formations, so it was not a risk for me, because if so, then I wouldn't have taken it. And uh, we know that I can play on each position with great performances. So in the last two or three days, we've talked talked about it, we talked about the system as well, how we could play and uh, I don't, uh, I haven't seen any problems. Of course on the other side, if we had lost then you journalists, and, uh, you would have asked a lot of questions about it, but we managed uh, to bring it on the pitch, show it on the pitch, it worked out well, and then if we will play in the same formation against the Netherlands, we will see. Javier Caceres again.
One question for David Alaba. The coach has said that Arnautovic playing as a joker is not really happy with his position, maybe. How do you see him? Is he motivated? Does he seem to be motivated in his role as a joker? Or does he seem to be disappointed or not happy? Well, that he's not uh, happy 100%. That's normal, I think, I guess, because we players, we always want to play, but we could uh, see uh, what character he has. He came on, gave 100% straight away, and that's why I saw him uh, very positive today. And uh, when uh, the coach talked to him, he uh, took the decision very positive in a very positive way. So he's a very important player for us on the pitch, but also off the pitch um, as a team, for us as a team, and we know uh, what he means to us. Peter Altman, please. Congratulations. Question for you, head coach. Michel Gregoric, great story in this match. He had a really difficult time, period of time. And how much did you have to motivate him in the training camp? He also said that he was shaking a little bit. He didn't know if he would start or not and uh, play and participate at all. Well, we spoke intensively um, about every single position and thought about it. Michel Grigoric and Adrian Gribic, that was the question, who will we take with us or not and both they haven't played a lot in their at their clubs but still nevertheless Michel Gregoric has uh, participated a lot at the national team and uh, every time he came he always uh, delivered I uh, always um, could, I could trust him and in the last uh, test matches he already created some uh, chances and today he finally managed to put it behind the net and this will give him confidence, faith and belief and for us it was a sportive de the decision we had to take and I think but also as a personality, as a person he fits very well into this team and that's why we decided it for him. Andreas Filber. Andreas Filber, please. Franco Foda, question to you. A very relaxed um, question. <laughs> we still have to catch our flight. Come on. Okay. One question. To have faith in the players. How important is it that you have faith in your lads and the other way around that uh, the players trust you? Well, it doesn't have to do with, uh, with, with faith. I mean, it's the situation. We evaluated the, court, the situation correctly, and every time he was with us in the match against Slovenia, for example, he showed great performances in Norway as well. He showed some good matches, and he was always ready, he was always there, and he always liked to come to the A national team. So that's why we decided like that at the end. And he fits well to the team, especially if you stick together for a couple of weeks. Important is also the whole team, the team spirit. I think we found a good group. They developed the great team spirit and this is how it has to develop further and today we won the match the lads wrote history as I said before before the match and now we have to enjoy this moment enjoy the victory and then from tomorrow on we have to focus on our next match against the Netherlands of course we need more points to qualify for the last 16 thank you very much dear colleagues for your questions thank you. thanks to Franco Foda we need to go and thanks to David Alaba we have to catch our fly. Thanks. Bye-bye, everybody.